Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, My Jewelry Addiction. My name is Tanya and I'm addicted to jewelry. I just wanted to come on. Well, I figured I'd, there we go, show you guys something that I've never shown you before. That was in my bedroom. Thought I would just share some of these lovely things that I have put in a box. So, Lord knows when. But I'm just going to turn this. I'm going to pull some pieces out and show you all. These are some things that I've been collecting for a while. Lord knows how long. Again, they've been in here. But I will share them with you right now. And I just cannot help. This is the first piece. And oh my gosh. This is... A very taboo, very natural element. And it is just amazingly beautiful and incredible and sad at the same time. But I've never seen one done quite like this. It has pink in it. Um, they use some sort of a dye or something to get in there, but the craftsmanship behind this piece is just incredibly beautiful and, again, controversial and very sad. And I'm sure this is a very old piece. I do not believe this to be anything new by any means. I don't know if that's focusing there. But it's been a part of my collection for quite some time. Hmm. Wow. Oh, and can I just say thank you guys so much. Yesterday really was so much fun. I had such a blast with my kids here and my granddaughter. It was a lot of fun. Let me find my loop because this is a signed piece. And oh my gosh, where is it at? <laughs> Excuse me. There they are. Uh, yeah, it was so much fun. Thank you all who participated in the uh, live show yesterday. This is Cremens of New York. It's a Cremens. That's a stunning piece. Beautiful. Sign just there at the bottom. Yeah, I just want to thank you all who participated. It was a lot of fun. Again, with the nails I have spray paint and whatever underneath my nails so excuse my nails because they do not look very nice right now um it was so much fun thank you all again who participated i still need um irene gibbs you want a free gift i need your information if you could please email me at my jewelry addiction 55 at gmail.com that would be amazing i will uh leave my email address in the uh, comment section and let's see who else shaheen i still need your information you want a free gift and caroline gambrew i still need your information um i have not received uh your information either you guys all won gifts so i'd like to send those off to you as soon as possible because I sure do appreciate you guys. You and everyone else who's been watching. I appreciate you guys more than you know. Um, this is just something I threw in there. This is an actual bear claw. And it's wrapped in leather. And I'm sure it was a part of something at one time. Um, kind of another controversial, you know, piece of... <sighs> whatever. I just didn't want to throw it away. Um, it is, I mean, as sad as it is, it's, uh, it's nature. It was there and I wasn't going to throw it away. I, I don't know how 
I can put that without. I am such a huge animal lover. Um, I never want to see harm to any animal. I mean, nature is one of the most beautiful things I've ever experienced. Um, especially snorkeling. If you guys have never snorkeled, like my first time snorkeling was on the big island of Hawaii. Um, well, I mean, when I was a kid, we used to snorkel like um, the ocean over here in California, but the water is nothing like it is in Maui or in Hawaii. It's so crystal clear. You could see the bottom and the oceans over here in the, um, on the West Coast, the, the water's really dark and sometimes murky and whatever. But yeah, the most incredible experience I've ever had was on the big island of Kona, uh, first time I had been to Hawaii, uh, my dad had taken me and my daughter. She was, oh gee, about 16 or so. Um, and he was there with his seventh wife. Um, and, uh, yeah, she's really something. <laughs> um, always thought she was better than everyone else and forgot where she had come from kind of thing. Um, it was wild, but the, uh, the snorkeling, um, portion of that was just, I mean, just like finding Nemo, we had chartered this, uh, private, uh, little boat, I guess, to get around from Kona to the other side of the island. You know, there's no access because of all the volcanic activities. Matter of fact, if you've never been there, when you're flying over it, it looks like the moon or some crazy planet because everything's black. There's like, you're going, oh my God, where I thought we were in Hawaii. I thought this was supposed to be tropical. It looks like a desolate, crazy, like nothing land when you're landing because of all the, all the, uh, lava everywhere. It's crazy. But then you see these little patches here and there around the edge of the island that are just nice and green and tropical. Um, yeah. And then you step off the plane and it's like a million degrees humidity and you're just like going, Oh my gosh, what is this? Where am I? But, uh, yeah. So we chartered this little boat and we went to, uh, this is so cute. I love these. And I kept saying porcelain and I'm meaning to say ceramic. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure a few things might have actually been porcelain, but I'm pretty sure these are just ceramic. Um, but they are so cool. I love this. Um, yeah, we chartered a thing we get around to this place called Captain, Captain Cook's Cove. And uh, they just kind of park in this little cove area. And it's like where you first start it, you know, it's maybe a hundred foot deep, but you could see right to the bottom and all the fish and it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty intense. Oh, he's missing a green eye and two little pearls. He's going in my repair pile and princess is coming in. She wants to see what's happening again. Or well, maybe she's just going to sit right there. Um, so me and my daughter are snorkeling. We're going off on our little adventure, you know, and we're swimming and, we're just like pointing at each other going, oh, look at that. Look at that. You know, just amazing. Just like finding Nemo, you know, going through the, uh, the little ocean thing. I believe these are, it's a glove clip. I believe, um, this is something they would have kept their, I, I want to say, I've heard someone call, refer this to like a little glove clip. If I'm wrong and you guys know different, please. Well, I guess it could be a scarf clip too, huh? It would look real nice on a scarf. I don't know. Um, it's cute. It's vintage. So we're swimming along, swimming along, and the water is getting real deep. And But you can still see to the bottom, like it's so crystal clear. And then all of a sudden, the two of us find ourselves right at the edge of this ginormous drop-off cliff into the massive vast abyss of the deep, dark ocean. I was just like, oh my gosh. My daughter looked at me. I looked at her. We turned around and we swam so fast back. Oh my gosh. I can't even tell you guys. 
It was one of the scariest feelings I had ever experienced in my life. I mean, it was just like, boom, dropped into nothing, just wild. And, and I don't know how, far, we're like from the cove, you know, our, our little boat, there was little boats that chartered all the way around there. And then each one was on their own little adventure. But our boat was like basically not too close to the shore because they don't want you to ever touch anything or disturb the rock and all that. You're, it's, you know, it's like a, um, a reserve. You're not supposed to touch things or step on the coral and the rocks because it disrupts things. So they kind of drop you in the middle where it's like really deep. And, uh, yeah, boy, did it get deep. I tell you, it was the scariest thing. Oh my word. Yeah. It was just like finding Nemo. Here's another one of those natural elements. I mean, if that is not a hunk of bone, I don't know what is. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty wild. Pretty wild. Um, we've got the loose side here. Um, I don't even know. Some sort of maybe a rock or something. And then that little element. It's cool, though. It's like a, I don't know if this is snuff bottle, perfume bottle. Yeah, it looks more like a perfume model or something like that, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, that was, um, yeah, my, my nature, uh, love of nature just goes beyond, I, you know, I, I feel, you, you know, it's weird, like, not just there, but I've snorkeled many a times over in Hawaii, because one of my besties lived there, um, for 13 years, uh, not one of my besties. She is, she is, well, I, I do have a couple of my favorite people, you know, but I've known Terry since, uh, I, gee, I met Terry when I was 13. I just turned 13. And so we've been like best friends for like, uh, what does that make us? 42 years, something like that. Yeah. Oh, he's cute, but he is also missing just like one, two, three, four stones. I'm going to have to replace him and put him in my repair pile too. He's awfully cute. Vintage. Not signed. But very nicely done. He's cute. Um, yeah, I, lo I love nature and... I don't know what's in here. It looks like I just have a bunch of pieces of crucifix because I do save all this stuff. What else is up here on this top one? And then we'll get to something a little better. These are just cute little, um, like CZ earrings, sterling silver. Don't know why they're in there. Again, I usually keep the silver jewelry in the silver jewelry closet. That's really cute. It's a Hansa with a stone in the center. Someone had asked me about these, um, if I had had any. I think it might have been Nixie. I'm not sure. But yes, I do. I will be bringing all this stuff to you guys, um, just so you know. Oh, and I've got some of these, uh, you know, they're like the big diaper pins. Yeah, I used to rock these in the 80s when I was into my punk rock thing. I'd make my own clothes all the time and safety pin everything together. And yeah, I had a big one of these on a skirt that I had made, um, holding it together, you know, like a fold over skirt, black with, you know, I don't know, I used to shred my clothing and make all sorts of crazy clothes. Uh, okay. Look at her. She's beautiful. Now this looks like porcelain. And it is hand signed. That's that's a beautiful piece of artwork right there. I love that. Love this too. That's amazing. That's another one of my obsessions is little boxes. And isn't it funny how we all like little boxes and we put little shiny things in our little boxes? Hmm. Maybe it's in our DNA. <laughs> I don't know. It seems so many of you are into boxes and little things like that. 
some beautiful women. That one's a, um, it's got a bale for a necklace too. Oh, these are cute. These almost look like lunch at the Ritz. Almost. I've had a couple of pairs of lunch at the Ritz. They're, they're some incredible earrings. This is really cute. Oh, and on that same note, what is this? Oh, wow. These are earrings. Same, you know, very lunch at the Ritz. Those are so cute. Have you ever seen a pair of earrings like that before? They are not signed, so I don't know that they are because I've had two pairs of Lunch at the Ritz and they are signed. So I doubt if these are. This is probably something someone had just put together, but they're very, very nice. I love them. Quite a statement. Very cute. Oh my gosh. Look at the unicorn. So pretty. That enamel work. Very nice. I haven't seen a lot of this stuff in a long time either because it's just been sitting on top of my dresser. Um, this one's sterling silver. It is signed, uh, la, la, la. I don't know, LL or something. It looks like it's sterling and copper. Very cute. Love that little detail on there. Cute. Oh, he's a cute little jelly belly. Little frog. He's cute. Oh, this one's signed. That's art. Very cute. I think I showed you guys this one and told you how I had had two of them, and here it is. Here's the other one. That's really pretty. That's really cute. This is signed also. It says E Shields Pewter. I've never looked this one up. I can't say that I have, but it's awfully cute with the two. Oh, what are those? Storks or something? I'm something like that. These look to be sterling silver vintage. Oh, they sure are. And they are signed. What does it say? It says Sterling Corocraft. Very cute. Sterling Corocraft. Very cute. They've got the screw backs. Burp. Where did it go? Oh no. There it is. I should just put it right back in the box. Um, this is just another, I sold a beautiful piece of abalone yesterday. Here's another one, but this one has like flowers carved into it. But the colors, the luster coming off of that is incredible. It's beautiful. Look at that. Such a beautiful piece of abalone. You could wear it either way. Yeah, when I when I had stopped wearing um, precious metals for a long time, I was really into uh, wood jewelry, real organic, natural jewelry, um, with you know cords, not silver chains and or leather. You know, I it's yeah, I did. These are beautiful beads. That's like a lariat. It's got like a dangle like where you put your name tag or something. Really pretty. This is beautiful. Looks like it still has a string here. Hmm, I'll have to I'll have to fix that, but this is milk glass. 
And then it's got these like royal, royal blue. Oh, there's a couple of beads that are broken there. Oh, that one's like smashed right in half. Bummer. And I see one here too. Well, anyways, I could certainly use those. That's beautiful. Look at that. So pretty. Mm. Gorgeous. This is another stunning piece. This is, this is pretty crazy. Okay, so each one of these has all this glasswork flower design right inside of each one of these. And when you turn it over, you will see that that is done right. You can see how that's all faceted on the back. That is blown into, or the glass is, it's like poured glass in there to make those flowers. Isn't that awesome? And they're just faceted. So someone like made these into flowers with the glass with the different colors of glass this is really hard my I'm starting to shake because I'm stretching way over here um, yeah and then they uh, cut the stones and gave them all these lovely facets that's pretty wild so pretty I've never never seen glass work done like that if anyone I'm sure someone out there knows what this is or what it's called please let me know because I haven't a clue. I have not tried to look this up. I I actually, I think I acquired this within the last six months and it just went straight into my jewelry box here. Here's another sterling piece. Um, Vermeil, beautiful. Look at those stones, very, very nice. I don't know that it's even signed, but I'm sure it's sterling because it sure looks it to me. Um, I've had many of, many of these, um, Vermeil, cute little thingy majiggies brooches. I do not see a signature. It might be there. I don't know. I'm not seeing it, but I'm sure that's what it is. This is pretty awesome. Kind of a modernist piece. And that is, looks like, yeah, it's very cold. looks like nephrite. It's copper. Really cute. I like that organic like snake design. This is a very early one. Very pretty. What else is in here? Gosh, we're only at drawer number one. This is really pretty. It does have an opal in there. Um, it's, it looks like it's probably gold filled or something. I don't know. It could be gold. I haven't, uh, I'm not even going to look at it right now. This is super cute. Look at that guy inside of that little little thingamajiggy. Oh, it's an emergency match. Look at that. That is so cute. I don't know what he is. What is he? He's cute. That's what he is. That's adorable. Look at that. And this is, oh, this is just beautiful. This is, um, Oh my gosh, I'm thinking repoise, but it's not. It's where they go in from underneath and carve and then put, it's uh, intaglio. It, these are intaglio. They're done from the back side. And then, because you, you can see the relief underneath and then it's painted in there. Pretty cute. And this, I've seen very similar ones like this, but they were bracelets. This is actually a necklace. That's really cute. Looks like it almost might be gold filled. Not sure. I'd have to take a much closer look at that. Okay, let's get down to the bottom here. We're at 24 minutes. Have I told you how awesome you guys are? If I didn't, you guys are awesome. Oh my gosh. Like the first thing I see is this. Um, I've told you guys before, I'm into the Asian carved things. This is, this is very old. As you can see, this is just like... Ah, oh, it's just, but look at these little hand carved things. I don't even know what this is. It's probably just a piece of wood. Um, I'm not really sure, but look at the little faces and the little animals. 
Look how cute. I don't know what's going Oh, that's a turtle on top, maybe? I don't know. I'm having a hard time seeing it. It's neat, though. I love that. I just love it. That's really cute. And, oh, this is really sweet. Look at this. This is early. This looks to be, like, thermoset. Um, and it's just a sweet little bird, almost like a dove or something. I'm not, I'm not sure. Or a sparrow. Really cute. That looks like Bakelite. Very sweet. This is amazing. I have found um, some of these beads before single. But I've never found a full strand like this. And I was excited when I found it. Oh my. These are um, peach pets. And, oh gosh, my hands, sorry guys, it's it's weird, this angle. Um, and each one is individually carved into a little man. I mean, look at that, isn't that crazy? Little Buddha, like, man with his little garbs and stuff, but each one is different. This is an amazing piece of art right here. Again, don't look at my nails, I said. I've been doing yard work and costumes and dyeing hair and you name it, and they just look terrible. Oh, so cute. And it's, it's like a prayer bead kind of thing, the way it's, um, the way it's put together. It's awesome. I mean, it's just the detail in some of these guys are, it's wild. Anyways, I, I just cherish that very much. Oh, this is so cute. This is like a clothespin or something like that. Look at that. It's, or it could be a bookmark or, you know, it's just wood. It's just a cute little piece of wood. And it's actually, I don't know, it says something right there. They lick it. It's like a little Scotty dog or something. He's so cute. I love him. I just love him. He's so cute. What else is in here? Again, with the natural wood. Just, I love this. I just, I just, it's just an amazing little piece of art that someone sat and whittled. And how cute is that? I love it. All right, there's just a few more things in here, guys. That's just really regal. I mean, very regal, like, you must be royalty to wear something like this. I don't know, that's just a cool piece. I like that. This is awesome, but I just found one, so I figured I would turn that into a pendant or something. Uh, I do believe that is, well, I don't know where my loop is. Yeah, that looks to be hand-painted. Um, again, this one actually does look like porcelain. Um, hand painted and then it's got this filigree probably 800 silver all this cute little caged uh, filigree work but it is um, just a single earring so I was gonna turn that take that off of there and make a bail for it and make it a necklace because that sure is pretty I love that color those I love all those colors together really nice another beautiful piece of art this one is very sweet and dainty, very lightweight, but um, just so nicely done with the little stars in the center of the flowers. And that those flowers are just so dainty and thin. And, Hi, princess. And then they've got the little blue rhinestones in their prong set in the centers. Just sweet. And then here's another little... No, he's not quite a jelly belly because there's no um, opening in the back, but it's just a sweet, sweet little bird. 
little hummingbird it looks like. Very cute. Very cute. Another courting couple. This is really cute. I like the setting on this one. Oh, it looks like someone has dropped it and it's just kind of smashed right there. Or it's just crudely done. I don't know. It's pretty neat. I like how they did it. I like how they put that together. Just on a chain. Uh-oh, there's something back there. Oh, well, all right. Oh, oh, sad. Aw. Well, that was a pair of earrings. Look at that glass. So pretty. Um, it looks like the back of the earring fell off of this one. So I don't know. And then I'm just finding one of these right now, but I'm sure I have two, but that's so pretty. That's just a little clip on earring. Very vintage. I don't know where the other is. Oh, and then I had found these and I thought I was going to turn them into a pair of earrings. And of course they're in a jewelry box. So how am I going to ever get to that? They're copper. They're like little Cochina dolls or something like that. Mm, something like that. I think that's what they're called. This is beautiful. It's got the AB stones. It's a necklace. Very pretty. This is an early, like, I don't know if this one's a shoe clip. Probably a shoe clip. Um, maybe. I don't know. That's awfully long to be a shoe clip. It's very beautiful. It's early. It probably is missing. Yeah, it's missing two red stones that I can see, which I will repair. But that's beautiful with the green and red. I almost want to say those look like uranium glass, but I don't have my UV light to test those little green stones, but they kind of glow like in, in the lighting that I'm looking at. They, they've got a very nice peridot color and they almost look to be like they could be uranium glass. I'd have to check that. I don't know why, but there's a couple of watches in here. This is a really nice Skagen, very thin, nice profile. I, Skagen is a good watch. I usually save those. I don't normally save watches and I have no idea why this one is in there because I've probably got a hundred of those that I just don't do anything with. This is lovely. I think my aunt just gave this one to me recently. I was, she started collecting jewelry and she wants to craft with it. And I was, I said, Auntie Lorraine, you can't just tear apart something so beautiful like that. I mean, all of the little seed pearls are in there. It is just put together so nicely. I said, you just can't. And she made me take it. And I was like, no, I'm not, I don't want to take it from you. And she says, well, you could do something better with it than I could. You could sell it or something or whatever. And this one is Florenza signed just there. So thank you, Auntie Lorraine. I love that. It's very beautiful. I love this, too. It's so sweet. It's just two little guns crossed, but they're, um, you know, it's got those great baguettes right there and all those little yellow rhinestones, and it's just two little guns, crossed guns. So cute. And, of course, let's not forget about Miss Betty Boo. She's so cute. She's very cute. Uh, this one actually looks, looks to be an earlier piece. Look at how that is put together right there at the bottom. And it's an earlier clasp. Very cute. Uh, I have this great Zuni ring. I don't know why that's in there. Mother of Pearl, Turquoise, and oh, probably Jasper, I'd, I'd imagine. Very cute. Satin sterling silver. That's a nice ring. I don't know why that's in there. I don't know that it's signed. It's not signed on the bottom. And it is not signed on the, um, the shank. It's a nice, nice ring though. So uh, I guess I'll be bringing all of this stuff. I just thought these were so cute. Look at that. You know, I did some artwork once and I used some real butterflies because 
I get a lot of butterflies in my backyard and when I find them, you know, if they've, if they've passed and they're just laying there, I will pick them up and I put them in a box and I will use them because again, I love nature and I don't want to see them disintegrate and fall apart when I could maybe do something beautiful with it. This is nice. This is an early piece. This is very cool. That's big. Very nice. All right, couple more things in here, and we're calling her a day. Look at these. These are wild. They're like, um, you know, where you go get your hair cut. What's that called? The barber shop. They're almost like a barber shop thing. Well, I can't show you on my ear because, but they're just clip on earrings. I just thought they were so cool. I've never seen a pair like that. They're pretty awesome. This is an early military. I think I've had someone tell me this was World War One, And it is a compass. Pretty neat. Military issued. I don't know if I have to. Oh, yeah, I have to push the lever to close it. That's pretty neat. This is a beautiful, uh, looks to be, I don't know, that back looks almost like sterling silver. Really nice. Well, there's two of these. They're the same, they're both pins. They have these little pin marks. Um, and just a couple little, little doodads, not worth mentioning. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you. My name is Tanya. I'm a full-time reseller here on YouTube. I will be doing shows, uh, live pop-up sales, uh, one, uh, two to three times a week. Um, maybe one tomorrow. If everything is shipped out today, I'm still waiting for a few uh, payment requests, and then I'm still waiting on information on a few of you. Irene Gibbs, um, Shaheen, Caroline Gambrew. I would love to send you free gifts, so please send me your information. Other than that, everything is hunky-dory, and I'll be going to the post office later on today and getting everything shipped out, um, hopefully just one time if everyone will take care of their payment requests. Thank you all so much for watching. I wish you all a beautiful and blessed day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.